Hi everyone, I'm Neil D'Souza and um, in case you guys don't know me, um, I go by the name Neil Jerry D'Souza, that's because uh, Louis has added the little word Jerry in there and um, I've worked with Louis for the last 17 years and counting. Um, I've known him for quite a while. Uh, he used to come to the American Center, the USIS, which was in Church Cape. And, um, I had come for one of his concerts and that's where I met up with him because I'm also an avid lover, a lover of jazz and and um, good music. Um, actually, I got into this line by just watching people record stuff. I mean, I used to watch people record, uh, record in studios and things like that and I automatically got into this line. And computers being my forte, I also managed to do both. Um, together which is combined my knowledge of computers together with the uh, intricacies of sound engineering and recording engineering and I did just precisely that. Um, this project Moonlight in Goa is actually a very close project to me and also to Louis as well because um, it's something that Louis trusts the entire album with me from the start of the album from the time the pre-production right down till the post-production and even the mastering um, is entirely done totally by me and no one else and um, that was that's one opportunity very few engineers get to work with uh, most engineers basically get just a part of the, the album a few songs or a few um, um, numbers and it goes from studio to studio and it bounces from place to place artist to artist and things like that but here it's the entire album that's done and produced exclusively or in this little studio in Mumbai and uh, that's one of the reasons why uh, this album is close to me because um, I could actually manipulate the entire uh, album to sound uniformly right across all the, the tracks you know not just one track being louder than the other or you know the entire sound is one whole consistent sound that is there and what I've also tried to incorporate is uh, to try and give it a much of an international feel because this is an international album as well um, more to introduce the music to introduce the place Goa as well as to introduce everything else um, that goes with it for example Louis playing because I always like to work with him because he's a genius as far as his music is concerned as far as his uh, um, playing and his styles he's, he's one of the few music directors and composers that can actually read music, write music and um, get into some very complex arrangements and uh, time signatures and um, you know music as it is. Now as you can see um, this is the Rebeat software and what it does is allows you to have complete control over your, your music titles that you put out online. Um, yeah, normally everything goes out globally and if you want to release your album in a particular territory or a particular country you can do so if you want to have your release only in America and um, leave the rest of the world for some other dates you can do that as well um, just like Hollywood does for a regular movie I mean they, they release it in America first and then they release it simultaneously glo globally worldwide so that's how much control that you have over your own release and um, what is good about this software is that you can actually track your sales worldwide. Uh, not just uh, look at a, a, st a statement of uh, uh, transactions that appear every um, uh, month, but you can also look at who bought your album, which countries are the ones that are buying your album, which aren't the ones that are purchasing your album, how many copies have been sold, and actually concentrate your fan base by going there, doing tours, and you know, uh, the entire gamut of publicity and promotion can take place through that. Now this is a very in, uh, important tool because not only does it allow you to put your music online, there's also some technicalities that are there as well. Like for example, you get a barcode for your production which you can um, uh, use in your, in your hard co copies. As well as the ISRC code which is another important feature of Freebeat which you can purchase online for each and every song. And uh, this allows you to collect royalties from other um, agencies and radio stations as well. So if you get a radio airplay in America, you get radio airplay in Europe, you can collect royalties from, the, from these uh, stations uh, directly um, 
through this Rebeat software as well. So that is something that is really, really cool. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I recommend most musicians, most producers, um, who want to produce their album, even upcoming talent as well, to, to go join Rebeat. And it's, it's very easy. All you do is just go to sudipodio.com and you get it over there. For Moonlight in Goa, uh, have you figured out uh, in the last a month or so, which part of the world has the music sold? Uh, yes, uh, what we had was uh, where I did take a sales report from Moonlight and Goa. What I really found was a lot of the people in America have bought uh, copies of um, Moonlight and Goa, and uh, that was quite amazing because I mean, I didn't expect some there are people have bought the entire album, downloaded the entire album, and have paid the entire amount, sum of money for that. Which was amazing because uh, normally uh, when you release an album in India, like maybe if you release it on an Indian label, it just goes to the local stores, uh, Rhythm House and uh, uh, Times and Planet M and wherever there is, uh, wherever music is sold. But here you can actually see your sales happening in America. You can actually see stuff uh, working. Uh, I mean, I mean your, your album actually going out to people and the people buying them, which is nice because. Uh, you don't really see that happening when you give your when normally when you do give your album to a record label, you don't get to see any of this happen. So you just take it, you take your lump sum money and that's it. But here this is something that you can monitor not just for um, one and two years, but it's an entire lifetime that of uh, monitoring that can be done over a period of time. So your your album may not sell today, it may not sell tomorrow, but day after tomorrow and the future, uh, your album could be a hit. You never know. I mean, Ribi does only distribution. It does not do any promotion or marketing. Yeah. Uh, have you engaged into any kind of marketing, active marketing yet, or are you planning to push it over social networks? Yes. Yeah, uh, we we did launch. Um, um, see, today Facebook is the ultimate in um, in um, digital social media which is basically I can release my album and tell people that I've, I've uh, done that on Facebook and it goes to everybody, it goes to all the groups, it goes to all the people and the, the fans that are there as well um, so it's a very uh, um, important thing the other thing is the website uh, directly at the website uh, we have links to where you can buy the music online as well as the entire rebeat uh, uh, previews are there of all the clips that are there online so you can preview the album if you like the album you can go ahead and preview it you can listen to some of the songs you have 30 second clips which are there online and these clips are, are, are available um, for you to enjoy the music listen to it and buy the album so that is one of the key features of uh, uh, this thing now as far as promotion is concerned yeah um, okay there is nothing like having a hard copy for some people in some countries where um, the internet is still not yet uh, evolved, but um, in most countries in America and Europe, um, digital distribution is the key, and uh, it's very easy to promote an album online because you have your websites, you've got your uh, uh, Facebook, you've got all the other other social networking, da -da -da, Twitter, and um, yeah, it's easy as that. I mean, you don't need to worry about any other promotion because. Uh, you can be your own record label and you can have your own um, things to do with ma music marketing. And uh, trust me, I think in the next um, decade or so, by the time the, um, music distribution gets online totally, um, there won't be a record company anymore. There won't be, the, big, the biggies will be somewhere else. Everybody will have their own record company. There may be a billion record companies by then producing all kinds of albums and music which is here to stay.